Howdy kids. This cross slide came in and it is marvelous. Love it. Great shape. And this is what the compound rest goes on as you can see. So um, also the T-bolt or the clamp which holds down a tailstock came in as well. So this lathe is almost ready to go. There's only really two pieces I need to buy. And that's the part that goes in here that will hold the tool rest. I don't know what it is, but it slides down in there and then a post goes up through it. And back here, there's a guard that goes over this. It covers up the threads so it doesn't get uh, all screwed up with chips when you're cutting. Also, I'm one of those guys that puts the cart before the horse. Um, I know I'm going to be needing to cut metal and I don't really have anything to do that. So I saw a dude on YouTube who has a thing that he uses to, that he made to clamp his angle grinder and use it as a chop saw. Well by golly they make one at Northern Tool. Uh, great reviews on it just said that it's hard to put together. Um, you put your four inch angle grinder in there uh, with a cutoff wheel and you got a chop saw. So anyway I'll get that together too. One of the things I need to do is get this bed. I'm going to get this bed in the electrolysis tank. So I'm going to try to remove this headstock and before I do that I want to move the shaft out of I forget what this shaft is called but if I can get that out of there I want the weight of the bed as I try to hammer with a block of wood of course something that won't hurt the metal to knock that thing out if it needs to be banged on uh, and if I can get this uh, headstock off of there I'm going to remove everything and get this into the electrolysis tank and get, try to get this thing cleaned up. Okay, this set screw, actually I had to put a pair of uh, channel locks on it to get that thing broken free. I had some WD soaking on it. So there it comes out. Let's see how the, this gear comes off. I'll try to get this forward reverse thing off first here. It looks like a big old nut here. Just need to get a couple things out of the way here. Well, it was really, uh, really pretty simple getting off the uh, lead screw and. It looks like, I don't know if you can see it back there, but there is a pretty big bolt right here holding this off. I got it loosened. And here it is. There's this screw right here. Um, it bolts it into the, the headstock. And so now, these gears are off. We'll set those to the side and try to see if we can get this gear off. This is the one that we really need off of there and I don't want to booger it up because if I mess that up then things are going to be bad. I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it. I got a two jaw puller on here. It looks like it really needs a three jaw. If I can just get this thing to slide a little bit and move I think I'll be halfway there but I once again don't want to destroy anything in this dismantling so I gotta kind of be careful here. Well, I guess you kind of knew it was going to happen. I boogered up one of the threads. I figured out how to get this thing off without destroying this totally. I hope I don't need to buy a new one, but I might need to. Anyway, this is what ignorance gets you. I can't figure out how to get that uh, spindle out of there. So right now what I'm going to do is switch gears and go ahead and take off the uh, headstock. Take the legs off of this thing and get, get it down to the bed and get this in the electrolysis tank. Okay, we got the uh, legs off and I learned the hard way just so you can remember bag and tag so 
here are the legs coming off. Now there are four screws that holds a headstock on and one, two, three, four, five holding this uh, little flat gear on there. So let's get those off of there. Well, here's the bit. Oh, this thing hasn't been taken apart since it was built. Um, this under here is just pristine metal where the headstock was on. And uh, now we're going to get it in that electrolysis, the electrolysis tank, and see if we can get that thing cleaned up.